coconut shell. Once upon a time, there was a poor old farmer couple working for a dives. They were nice and hardworking, but could not have a child even until they reached their fifties. One day, the wife went into the forest to pick up some woods. It was very sunny, so she was thirsty. But she saw a coconut shell full of raindrops under the tree. She drank it all immediately. She got pregnant. Soon later, the husband passed away. She gave birth to a child with no arm and no leg. His body was rounded like a coconut. She was upset. It was about to throw him away when the child said, "Mother, I'm a human. Please don't throw me away." The old woman sympathized and let him stay. She named him Coconut Shell. After years, Coconut Shell still stayed the same. He just rolled around and could not do anything. The mother was mournful. Coconut Shell understood that. He asked his mother to let him work as the dives cowherd. As hearing about Coconut Shell, the dives hesitated. However, he also thought that he would not have to pay or feed him much, so the dives agreed. However, Coconut Shell was a talented cowherd. Day by day, he rolled behind the herd to the field, and when the night came, he rolled behind them back the house. The whole herd was always full. The dice was very glad. During harvesting time, all workers went to the field. So the dives told his three daughters to take turn to bring the food for Coconut Shell. An evil elder sister usually looked down on Coconut Shell. Only the youngest one treated him very well. One day, it was the youngest sister's turn. To bring the meal for a coconut shell, as she reached the hill foot, she heard a melodious flute sound. She tiptoed and saw a handsome young man sitting on a handmade hammock, playing the flute for the cows. But as she stood up, all disappeared, and there was just coconut shell on the ground. Many times like that. And the youngest sister knew that Coconut Shell was not an ordinary man, and she fell in love with him. At the end of the working season, Coconut Shell came home and asked his mother to come to the dive's house to ask for his daughter's hand in marriage. The old woman was dazed, but as her son insisted, feeling bad for him, she agreed. Seeing Coconut Shell's mother came to ask for his daughter's hand in marriage, the dives laughed sarcastically. If he wants to marry my daughter, tell him to prepare a gold jar, ten scrolls of silk, ten fleshy pigs, ten bottles of fine wine, and bring them here. The old woman went home sadly. Thought of a way to get her son the marriage he wanted. She told Coconut Shell about the conversation between her and the dives. Coconut Shell immediately replied, "Mother, please come to his house and tell him that I have everything he wanted." His mother wordly explained, "But my son, our family is very poor. How can we afford?" Those luxurious things. Coconut Shell just told her not to worry too much. Right on that day, everything needed was in Coconut Shell's house. There were even some servants bringing the gifts to the dive's house. The dive was amazed. He called his three daughters to ask them 
if any of them wanted to marry Coconut Shell. The elder sister pouted, then returned inside. Only the youngest one shyly nodded, showing that her answer was yes. That afternoon, Coconut Shell brought the bride home. The party was very big. In the evening, when candles were lit, no one saw Coconut Shell anywhere. Suddenly, a handsome man walked out of the room with the bride. Figuring out the whole story, the mother hugged Coconut Shell and her daughter-in-law tightly, and she was speechlessly happy. The news spread away. Everyone who heard the story was surprised and happy, except for the elder daughters of the Dyes, who were then angry and jealous. From that day, the coconut shell couple lived together happily. Moreover, coconut shell was a very smart and hardworking man, and that year. He had the highest score in the course recruitment. Not long after, Coconut Shell was sent to another kingdom on an embassy by the king. Before leaving, he gave his wife a fire stone, a knife, and two eggs. Told her to keep them by her side all the time, and that they would come in handy in jeopardy. Seeing how. Their youngest sister married a handsome, powerful, and rich husband. The elder sisters was jealous, and they planned to harm her. Taking the advantage of the time when Coconut Shell was far away, the elder sisters invited the youngest one to go rowing on the sea. Then they pushed her down the water. The youngest sister was swallowed by. A cetacean. Luckily, a big wave hit the cetacean onto an island. Remember her husband's words to bring the knife all the time, in case something might happen. She used the knife to cut open the cetacean's stomach and got out. Then she used the fire rock to make fire and grill the fish to eat. After a few days living on the island, the two eggs hatched into a lovely couple of chicken and became her friends. One day, a boat was sailing near the island when the rooster saw it and crowed, "Cock-a-doodle-doo! Is that the chancellor's boat coming to take my lady?" The chancellor was amazed, so he ordered the boat. To come in and check it out. Turned out, it was actually his wife. They met each other again, feelings mixed. After taking his wife home, the chancellor opened a party for everyone to come and celebrate. But he hid his wife inside, so no one knew. The silly elder sisters did not know. They were rejoiced and started to tell the story of their sister falling down to the sea on that trip. They even pretended to cry hard. The chancellor did not say anything. After the party had ended, he called his wife out. As the elder sisters saw the younger sister, they were ashamed. They went home and left their hometown. From then on, Coconut Shell and his wife live happily forever.